So, hello everyone. I am here today to share with you our first steps on virtual twin and system engineering in the construction industry. It is what we call productization. And I will explain how productization is going to change the construction industry. But let's start with a short presentation of the Buig group. The group, all the group Buig, is about 200,000 employees, so that's really a huge group, with 47 billion of turnover. We're working in telecom, media, energy and services, and building activities. I am here to represent Buick Construction, so the building activities. In the building activities, we are working on property development, construction, housing, offices, and civil works, on energy and services, and concessions. This is one picture of one of the biggest wind turbines projects on the French coast. It is about 61 offshore wind turbines with 500 megawatts of power. Let's have a short video on different projects we've done. Our customer demand, speeds, sustainability, and personalization all at once. But skills are in short supply. We can't no more find plumbers, electricians, for example, on the market. On each project, it's always a challenge. Productivity hasn't been improved for decades, and the construction industry is one of the less digitized. Sustainability induced regulation, raised project complexity, and decreased our profitability, and revealing conflict between trades on the field. To address 
those three industry challenges, we have signed a partnership with Dassault System. One really important point is that we didn't want to digitize our current processes, but rather address what could be the transformation of the sector. We agreed on three principles. The cloud platform to reach fragmented and regionalized ecosystem. We created and integrated teams with employees from Dassault and Brick Construction on the field. That's really important. And we worked daily with Dassault R&D teams. We work on twofold approach. Collaboration for the adoption of Dassault tools for our people and industrialization. These two streams will bring competitiveness to the construction industry sector. Let me share with you this movie, which is the result of a first construction project we've made with the 3D experience platform. The human dimension is key because our job requires a lot of commitment and passion. As head of operations, I'm responsible for the construction of the Leclerc swimming pool and the Pantau Conservatory. The work supervisor is an orchestra conductor. He's at the core of the machine, of the reactor. All information goes through him. We manage a huge mass and flow of information. This is the whole point of the experience we lived with the platform. It's about how to centralize all this information, to have the best collaborative tools, and to ensure that we don't miss a piece of information that could jeopardize the whole operation. Hence, the collaboration of the Dassault Systems teams was very fruitful because the principle of this relationship was based on their integration into our teams, a kind of live my life to help them really understand our way of doing things, our way of working, and then build our use cases and our own experience of the platform. Our experience with the platform was to create a support to work more collaboratively, to exchange among us more easily and more exhaustively. On the Pantau site, the platform was a real lever and a real help in getting people on board. Creating use cases on the platform with the Dassault Systems teams was a real human experience. A worksite is a great human adventure. And now we're going to share with you the journey we've started on industrialization. As I said before, that's really the first steps of virtual twin and system engineering in construction. Let me explain the current way construction is organized, or non-organized. <laughs> we are organized by trade. So if I can make a comparison, it is like human body where each individual function is made individually with thousands of interfaces between each function. So we quickly understand if I make a projection on a simple, really simple care room, that's the number of interfaces we have to deal with. That's, we are not at the building scale, we are just at a room level. That's maybe the simple thing we had to build, to design and build. So you could easily understand why we have so much conflicts with the design team and then on the field. So we thought to a new approach. This new approach means we didn't going to split our project per trade, 
but we are going to re reorganize it by generative multi-trade or parametric multi-trade modules. If I do the comparison, we understand that we're going to have really less interfaces between each module. If I make the projection again on my care room, we address sustainability induced complexity and reduced number of interfaces between each module. We simplify the design and the work on the construction side. And this module are the support of our knowledge. This is really important. We virtualized the know-how inside this module, so the module could be reused from one field to another. That looks maybe obvious for you on your industry, but that's really a game-changer approach in the construction industry. We don't standardize product to keep personalization at facility level, but we standardize the processes across the company from one field to another. We start with the residential sector, which is the largest market for brick construction, and it is highly replicable market and less sophisticated. But we're going to move towards more technical buildings like hospitals, data center, and nuclear power plants. So that looks very desirable. That looks great on the theoretical part. Let's have an example. This is, we made a module of Texca wall partitions. That's a project we've built in Bangkok. Uh, 60 floor uh, offices we've built. And so we made half of the building on a traditional way, and the second half of the building with productization. So it took about two months to virtualize the knowledge of Texca wall. Then, after, we could apply all the algorithm we've done in Katia on the architect's drawings. You have to know that each floor has a different organization, different services, so different drawings. That's not a matter, since we virtualize the know-how of Texca. Then we just have to choose on which wall we're going to apply the business rule. And so we'll have all the shop drawings. We've linked the supplier. We've linked the workforce on site. We've linked everybody across the platform. And the results you're going to, to ask me, incredible. On the design part, it took about 10 days to design one floor. Then, after all that work we've done in Katia, it comes from 10 days to two days, 80% more efficient. On the construction field, the productivity increased by 30%. We were 30% faster than we used to be. So, really amazing results. So we go on doing many modules for our processes. For example, you have concrete powering for a concrete wall with all the rebars inside. We've done technical riser, service riser, even um, refurbishment for housing, thermal refurbishment. We think there is a huge business to do with that use case. But for all the modules we've done, the benefit on the cost are from 5 to 30%. We reduce the waste on site, we reduce the carbon footprint, and we are more sustainable. We decompose a housing project, and a housing project is about 40 to 50 modules. We will have to finish to virtualize our know-how by the end of the year. We are today at about 15 modules done. 
then we will deploy on all the French market for all the housing products by the beginning of 2024. That's really a huge revolution. So we are building the construction company of the future. We have created a dedicated, a real know-how virtualization capacity. As in our business today, the knowledge is spread all over the supply chain. So that's strategic for the company to have, again, this knowledge inside. And so that's a good way to virtualize it. We need to change our internal organization to follow the change we, we are going to involve in the market. So we have created an off-cycle engineering department, not an off-site, an off-cycle engineering department, bec because the added value is between projects and not during the project. We have a lot of questions on what we may need to do with our workforce. We think we are going to do more and more things with our workforce. They're going to have new opportunities, for example, for cross-docking platform or flying factory to make the assembly of the different module before deliver them on site. And we still have an answered question. How is the market going to react? How our competitors are going to react? But if we want to achieve this transformation, we need to onboard all the industry, all our suppliers, all our subcontractors. And it's really w where we are working on with the system. What I have shown you in the construction and building construction, we could do the same on civil works. For example, that's a, a tunnel we are doing with productization in Hong Kong. And we could do the same for bridge and every kind of civil works. The only things you need to know that high effort, high value, high reward method. So you need to have many cases where you could reuse your processes. But by the way, you reuse your processes. You don't have to think more. You just have to go with productization. To conclude, I would, say that I would say that I hope you have understood that we are shaking the industry very hard and going to do the metamorphosis of the construction industry. Thank you.